Hey third graders, today we are doing unit 4, lesson 14, which is on page 255 of your math book. Um, and today we're talking about the relationship between addition and subtraction. Think about that for a moment. Just like in really simple terms, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 4 minus 3 equals 1. What are you noticing? You might have heard the phrase that they are opposite operations, also known as, aka means also known as inverse operations. And those are both fancy ways of saying that they undo each other. can undo or check one another. This idea right here is what this lesson is about. So I want you to be thinking about that relationship between addition and subtraction, how you can use one to check the other one, or how they're kind of moving in the opposite directions. One is adding more and the other is taking away and they kind of can cancel each other out or undo one another. Okay, so uh, it says solve each problem, make a proof drawing if you need to. It doesn't say to make quick tens and hundreds, so for this I'm gonna be drawing, I think a math mountain. There were 138 students in the gym for the assembly. Then 86 more students came in. How many students were in the gym? all together so that all together is a hint that we're adding so i'm going to make a math mountain here and try to figure out which of these two numbers i have or which of these three numbers i have i have the number of students who were already in the gym and the number of students that were joining in the gym and i'm looking for my total number of students so i'm putting a t there to stand in place of my missing number my 138 and my 86 and so to find that I'm going to add those up lining up my place value super carefully of course 8 plus 6 is 14 uh, 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 8 more is 12 and then 100 plus 100 is 200 so the total is 224 students. Students is what comes after how many, so that's our label. And I'm gonna say that's what T equals. T equals 224 students. Okay, keeping this in mind, we're gonna look at this other word problem right here. There were 224 students in the gym for the assembly. Then 86 students left. They're gone, right? They're out of here. How many students were still in the gym? So let's make another math mountain. And let's think about where we're gonna place these numbers. It sounds like we have a total of the 224 students. Some left, some stayed, but if you put them together, you get the total. So we're gonna put that 224 at the top. And then we can put 86 on either side. It doesn't matter because these two will get added together to make that one. So I'll put my 86 over here. And then I'll put um, L, a cursive L for left because when we're doing math, I think we might've talked about this before. If you're gonna use L as a variable to stand in for numbers, if you just do one of these, Everyone's gonna think it's a one, right? So we do a cursive L to make it look like clearly a letter, not the number one. So then this problem is saying, you could say 86 plus L equals 224, but we're gonna think about what we were talking about before and use subtraction, right? And that's gonna sort of undo. Now I want you to take a moment and predict 
if we had our total up here was 224 and then down here 38 and 86 for our partners here we're missing one partner the other partner is 86 and we have our 224 in our total space I wonder if you can guess make a savvy prediction of what this L will equal without doing even a moment of math all right now let's see if you're right we're gonna set up a subtraction problem because that's how we can find this missing partner so 224 minus 86 4 take away 6 not gonna work so we have to ungroup we look over here We'll leave one of those tens, now we have 14. I'm gonna keep on grouping because I can see already one take away eight, that's not gonna work. So I come over here and now I have 100 and now I have 11 tens, so that should work. So four take away six is eight. 11 take away eight is three. And then 100 take away nothing is 100. So our L, equals 138 just like that <laughs> look at that it's like the same thing so we'll say 138 students and that's what equals l okay now this next part i want you to think about and i want you to write your own answer before you see what i wrote look at your addition subtraction and proof drawings from problem one and two how are addition and subtraction related? So pause, write your answer, and then hit play when you're ready for mine, okay? I'm gonna write addition and subtraction are inverse operations. They can undo or check each other. I'll put a smiley face because it's so cool. Okay, all right, feeling good? Let's flip. Solve, label your answers. Marley had. 275 baseball cards her brother gave her a collection so gave her a collection of 448 baseball cards how many baseball cards does marley have now um so she had some her brothers gave her more she's smushing them together so we're going to add right to get that total so we'll do 275 plus 448 5 plus 8 is 13, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus one more is 12, and then 200 plus 400 is 600, plus one more, 700. 723 base ball arts. Now, write a subtraction word problem related to the addition word problem four. Then, find the answer without doing any calculations. So, our total was 723. One of our partners was 275. The other partner was 448. So, let's say um, Marley has we're using our total first, right? Because that's what she's going to have to take some away. Uh, 723 baseball cards. She gave, pick one of the partners, it doesn't matter which one. 275 to, hmm, who would you give baseball cards to? Her neighbor. How many cards? Two. 
does she have left? Making sure we end with a question mark. Okay, now we're not gonna actually do a subtraction problem on this one. We don't have to. We understand the relationship between these three numbers. 75 or 275 and 448 together make 723. So if you have 723 and you take away 275, the only thing that it can possibly be left in this entire world is 448. So she has 448 baseball cards. All right. Let's do this last one and then we're done for, with this. Um, you'll do your activity if you have one assigned for you. Bill drove 375 miles on the first day of his cross country trip. The next day he drove an additional, there's a hint that we're gonna do addition, right? 528 miles. How many miles did Bill drive on the first two days of his trip? Together, right? So. Let's, I think the next question is making a subtraction problem. So let's make our math mountain anyways down here. We're taking the first day and the second day, putting them together. So we're looking for the total. We're going to put our partners down here, 375 and 528. And then we'll do our addition up here to find our total. So 375, 375 I should say plus 528, 5 plus 8 is 13, 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 1 more is 10, and then 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 1 more is 9, so 903 miles, that's pretty far. And if you stop and think about it for a moment, this is almost... 400, right? This is a little bit more than 500, so almost 400 plus a little more than 500 should be about 900, right? So that, that's something you should always be doing while you're doing your problems. So now our total is 903, um, and that's what's going to go at the top. I want you to think of a subtraction problem on your own and see if it's pretty close to mine, okay? So I'm going to say... Bill needs to drive 903 miles to his grandma's house. Oops, grandma's house. If he already drove 375 miles, how far does he still need to go? All right, so if he has to go 903, a total of 903. He's already done 375. The only amount that's left that will be combined with 375 to make 903 exactly is this, 528. So 528 miles. All right, so go see if you have an assignment, my friends. I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's always nice having you here. All right, bye-bye.